All right, it is 12.41 a.m. and this is going to be just a very quick video going over the 27th of May and I don't think I did any other recordings. I'm pretty sure this is the first and only one that's going to be for today. I did have one trade with SYXX and overall this week has been pretty frustrating and um, I think the fact that I survived through it is good and I can recover from that and, uh, you know, take into consideration all the lessons and things that I learned and continue to be better over a longer period of time but it's been really frustrating training stocks in general like SYXX that just has a super ugly spread or it looks like it's going to um you know like break a support level and then it just flicks the other way and starts shooting up like crazy it's kind of hard to tell but you might be able to see it where sometimes it looks like it's going to break the support level right here and then it just shoots all the way up to 78 I've seen some more dramatic ones and it's been pretty frustrating but I have been learning from the price action a lot and one of the things I'm noticing with a lot of these stocks that kind of tend to be sporadic where it looks like it's going to break the level right here you can see and then it just shoots up all the way and then it just kind of comes back and down trends even more is that you have to really take into consideration what size are the prints that appear on the tape sometimes you see a stock that looks like it's going to break a support level and it looks horrible but if you look into the tape you see all of these tiny 500 700 um prints of you know just tiny amounts of shares and it doesn't actually mean anything but if you see a large one that's 10,000 or 20,000 shares that's something you start to take into consideration more so one of the things i think that this thing has been um, getting me with that i haven't noticed before was that maybe for example this stock looks like it's going to break a very important support level like let me try to actually see if i can get it to zoom in it might be kind of hard right here let me see if i can try to do something like this there was an example right here when this thing and i could have considered buying it the level two didn't look ideal but this thing just kept down trending and then it started having all of this negative red prints just going through in a time than sales and you know thinking now those prints were very small amounts of shares and it wasn't able to downtrend and then the green prints that will go through would have a lot more volume than a little tiny red print so something that i would see is that this thing looks like it's going to break the seven cent level after it was having this panic and then it doesn't actually do it because even though it looks like it just seeing the price action the amount of shares that are going through is actually very small and as you can see there wasn't really any considerable volume right here while it was downtrending but then you know where was the big volume the big volume was on the um time and shelves um you know hitting the ask and then you can see this is the thing that i'm talking about where it has a big panic and it looks like it's going to break a seven cent level but there are all these little baby tiny low volume prints and then it turns around the other way and it shoots up like from seven all the way to nine which i mean seven to nine is like um i think that's like just under a 30 percent move so that's the kind of thing that i've been learning from this and then you can see this panic right here right and it holds vwap but you know at the time when i'm seeing something like this i think it's just going to break it and continue to downtrend but it just reverses it goes from the 82s as high as the 92s and i think that is like a 12 percent move and that's the thing you have to take into consideration it's not necessarily what it's looking like in the time at sales but you have to take into consideration the level two and the size of the print i think that's the lesson there and i did have a tiny trade here it wasn't really um that big of a trade let me see if i can actually try to zoom in and uh, go over the trade it was just a very small speculative trade with a very small amount of size this will work I was just trying to see this price action and learn from it. At 942, which was right here, I got in at 815, 942, which was right here, I got in at 815. And this was the same thing where um, it's just trading back and forth, right? And then it has like this quick move up here, then it looks like it's going to break VWAP, fall off a cliff. But then I thought, you know, this might be doing the thing that I was just talking about right now where it looks like it's going to break under it, but it actually does it because of the fact that the prints that are going through are just tiny. 
and um, I held on to this trade. I got out of it ultimately at 949. I only traded 100 shares. I made like five pennies off of this trade just because I was just trading a small amount of sizes to see if I can learn from the price action, not necessarily make or lose money, uh, just to learn from being in the trade. But I did get out ultimately right here at 949 at 82. And the only reason why I got out of it, when it did work out a little, it got to the 84s before it did sell off right here, is that I wanted to be a part of RMSL because it looked like it was going to break this four cent level. And that was like a very considerable point, you know, like a potential multi-day breakout. It didn't work out. As you can see, I got out around 949, which was um, pretty much when I got out just to focus on this. And this one didn't really amount to anything, which was fine. And uh, yeah, that was really about it. This one had like a low volume warning panic bounce. Wait, I don't mind missing this one because it just doesn't have the volume. But yeah, I think I'm just going to slowly try to get better. And learn from the price action, but I mean, yeah, uh, this thing did have a panic. It did turn around, but again, I just need to keep getting more experience. I'm glad I'm doing better just reading the price action and I'm um, learning these little things, but that's pretty much it. I was really debating whether I was going to make a video or not, but I think somebody else is watching this, or I guess just me later on I can just, you know, go over this. And this is something to take in. The consideration when stocks just trade all ugly and choppy um, don't just focus on what the price action looks that um, looks like but take into consideration the amount of shares that are going through that's all I have for this video